Hi everyone, Marcus here, Pipers and Guns. So today it's a VR day, so I want to give big congrats to uh, OTC Piper who uh, made his 100 sub um, just a few days ago. Um, well, I also made my 100 sub a few days ago, so we pretty much have our, have our 100 sub giveaway at the same time. Um, so congrats to you. Um, and uh, good luck in the future, getting more subs, creating uh, great content. So, so there is some points here uh, from OTC Piper, uh, things to bring up in the VR. So one thing was uh, tell us, uh, explain or tell about a book or something that inspired you, um, where it inspired me, or uh, something like that uh, regarding reading or a book or something like that uh, number two was your favorite pipe and tobacco and a combo with a drink and number three was a favorite place uh, where you go and contemplate or calm down or smoke your pipe the favorite place you like to smoke your pipe i guess so if we start off with the first one i've never been a big reader so I guess it's due to um, maybe a bit dyslectic. Um, was never one of those kids when I was a uh, you know when I was much younger that liked to sit still and read a book. I was so you know high energy. I was just running around, just outside, doing stuff, making things, coming coming up with stuff, invade in inventing stuff and you know couldn't just sit still and read a book that was you know a major problem for me in school was to you know read books uh, write essays you know after you read a book or whatnot but at one point I think the first really insight I got to uh, like reading books could be something really giving and interesting was when I read Jurassic Park <laughs> sounds funny but you know that's a big freaking book it's I don't know how many pages it is but it's a it's a big one and I pretty much read it you know over a couple of days or I think uh, like one and a half weeks or so you know I, I maybe were like 12 or 13 at the time and for me that was like a huge step because you know never reading books really and uh, reading a book which was really really many many pages uh, and I think it even was no it wasn't in English it was in Swedish but it was the first aha moment when it comes to book for me but I would say the biggest thing or the the most I got out of books have been you know when it comes to fiction I think it's uh, Lee Childs he has the book series uh, Jack Reacher probably seen the movie which is super weird when you read the books because it's you know Tom Cruise is it's not Jack Reacher um, but it's a it's a series of book that you don't need to read in in a suc succession you know you can pick one book and then you can read another book which is much older it doesn't matter uh, but I think it's up to like 21 books at this at this moment and I buy one of those uh, and I just read through it straight uh, I love it I don't know if it comes back to uh, him being a MP or whatnot I was an MP in the military here but it's just uh, you know action like detective work um, stuff like that and I really enjoy it and can't stop reading it so you know if you want to check out a series of books then go for the Jack Reacher series for, from Lee Childs otherwise what get me stuck is manuals uh, I'm a technical guy and uh, when I do something I go in 100% it's like nothing stops me and I read everything about the subject or whatnot and then it's stuck in here so 
I read it once and I remember it. And it, uh, you know, I read manuals uh, daily due to my work. And uh, well, it would be that technical papers, new technology, interesting documents from, you know, everything from science to, you know, new stuff that have been invented. But otherwise, when it comes to fiction, it's it's a uh, Lee Child's Jack Reacher series. Awesome books. Uh, some might think they are boring, but I like it. It's a, it's a good book or a good series of books. So number two, favorite tobacco pipe and drink combo. So here's my favorite pipe. And this is a really old estate pipe. One of my grandfather's old pipes. It's a Peterson 211 cup roof. Uh, I don't know how old, how old it is. It could be from, you know, everything from the late 50s to, uh, you know, 80s. It's a, not a lot of information when you search uh, on it, when you Google it. Uh, I might email Peterson one day and just ask if they have any backstory on it. Um, well, that's pretty much one of my favorite pipe favorite pipes to smoke and I didn't pay anything for it so I found it in the garage when going through the house when my mom moved to an apartment and in it I have one of my favorite absolute favorite tobaccos and it's Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding Special Reserve so even if it's not Special Reserve I like them both uh, I think yes that Special Reserve which comes as a cake it's a crumble cake, but it you know it comes as a plug or cake, what do you call it, and you can cut like flakes from it uh, or just crumble directly from the cake itself. So hang on, I'll just light this one up. And usually I love drinking homemade lemonade this is sherry because I think the sweetness in drinks bring out the flavor in the pipe and the tobacco uh, I love drinking tea to my pipes you know coffee works as well but it's not as sweet I usually don't put any sugar in my coffee or something like that in my tea I might have some honey But of course it varies depending on the tobacco, what comes best, you know. Usually maybe don't think that beer is the best, you know, combo. But it so much depends on the mood, uh, the situation, uh, the surrounding and the tobacco of course and the pipe you smoke. But mm, I would say most of the times I would enjoy something sweet uh, to my tobacco. It was really hard picking the you know the favorite tobacco and pipe you know I, I have a Peterson Deluxe 20s which is otherwise one of my favorite pipes to smoke just due to you know it being a system pipe and whatnot but but this is really you know one of the pipes I go to and this is pretty much dedicated to this tobacco now nothing else runs through it really good and favorite place to go smoke my pipe and uh, well it's here my balcony which looks like a dump at the moment I have a lot of old mo moving boxes and stuff in the corner here I'll try to uh, clean this up put some stuff up on the walls I want to glass this one in so I can sit here in the winter and smoke because it's not fun to be outside in minus 10 or whatnot and a lot of snow smoking a pipe in the winter otherwise I just enjoy strolling in the woods with my dog or family or and family kids and so on and smoking my pipe uh, it's nice otherwise just to sit down and watch the scenery of course but at this time you know Coming down, it's the balcony.
taking a pipe or having a pipe and just chilling out and uh, it's really one of those things that calms me down in the evening in the evenings having a pipe on the balcony so I would say it, it's the balcony and to add to that you know uh, I know you talked about being a new pipe smoker or like a veteran uh, you know I smoked a pipe for six months I don't know how I would uh, count as a new pipe smoker but I have like seven or eight pipes already uh, I tried a lot of different tobacco I still have a lot to try out to find my my favorite blends and I pretty much try everything you know everything from aromatics even if I'm not too big into aromatics at this time but English blends vapors yeah I'm not afraid of trying it so and I really enjoying these the vapors uh, the more grown-up type of <laughs> tobaccos as I call it but I really would like a pipe stand because at this moment I have a freaking egg what do you call it like an egg carton or egg box as a, my pipe breast so it's it works it's not it doesn't look good but it's functional so so um, well I think that's it for today and uh, once again congrats to your hundred subs and uh, I wish you the best of luck and in the future with all the upcoming videos and uh, I also wish you luck in my uh, giveaway on the drawings on Saturday so cheers and take care and uh, stay safe all right Bye-bye.